All right. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Xiaoqing from Planning School. My topic today is about a redevelopmental case of urban village that uh, I'm working on during my field work in China. So, what is urban village? This picture shows the typical urban village in China. Urban villages. Uh, in Chinese, literally means a village in the city. They used to be rural villages, but, but are gradually encircled by the expansion of urban areas. Uh, the villagers inside, they used to be farmers working on their farmlands. However, as the city expands so quickly, their farmlands were uh, uh, acquired for the uh, urban development. So without, uh, income, resu uh, without income resources, uh, many villagers choose to build up on their original houses and uh, rely on rental collections in order to make a living. So uh, because all the houses are actually constructed by the villagers themselves without in compliance with housing regulations, regulations or planning rules, so the uh, in environmental inside of the urban village can be quite chaotic. So how big the differences are between the two areas? Uh, okay, outside urban villages, we may see all those pictures. Inside of urban villages, however, we may see these, these, and these. So, <laughs> yeah, from early 2000s, many local governments began to take strategies of large-scale clearance and uh, uh, demolishing and uh, actually they uh, it's in the name of urban beautifying and social inclusion, demolishing and redeveloping most of the urban villages. The case I'm presenting today is in Xi'an, China. Uh, Xi'an is uh, in the middle of China. In early to, uh, uh, in uh, 2010, uh, uh, the rate of urbanization in Xi'an has reached 60%, which produced more than 200 urban villages inside of it. Uh, in 2000. 12, 73 of them have already been redeveloped uh, and um, uh, 56 were under redevelopment and more than 80 were to be redeveloped in five years. And Village is one of them. And Village was redeveloped in 2003. Before the redevelopment, it was like this. However, it is now faced with another redevelopment which uh, evokes intensive conflicts and protests. The irony is that when it was redeveloped in 10 years ago, it was uh, made a demonstrative case because all the villagers inside were considered to fully participate in the process and the housing uh, qualities and the living environment were greatly improved. As shown in the pictures, all the houses are three, wait for you, <laughs> yeah. all the houses, uh, replaced houses are three-story terraced houses with garages on the ground floor. The community, they also have uh, kindergartens and uh, primary schools with all the public facilities. So in this case, how did a village get into this community? complicated situation. After a close study in my field work, se uh, several interesting findings emerged. First of all, uh, questionnaires indicate that more than 67% of villagers saw a decline in quality of life during the past 10 years, and more than half also expressed insecure feelings about their future lives. When compared with uh, uh, other cases, the uh, rate of Unemployment in a village is found to be the highest, and the access to social welfare schemes the lowest. Therefore, after the redevelopment, many villagers once again started building up on their houses and relying on rental collections. So, in the picture, the parting red bricks are built by the villagers themselves. Um, and many villagers also turned their uh, garages into small restaurants and groceries. Uh, and the most of the green spaces were turned into small plots of farmlands. And this old man in the picture, he makes a living by selling garbage. That's another long story. And secondly, um, villagers' self-expressions and uh, participation during the uh, redevelopment process were not as involved as the local government and the scholars expected. Due to the lack of uh, information information transparency. Uh, the villagers were not able to present as a counterpart and negotiate with the uh, developers and the government from an equal position. Uh, besides, without professional assistance, some decisions made by the villager at that time uh, were not actually practical. Certainly, and the villagers and the uh, uh, government actually have quite different expectations on social inclusion. Uh, 
the key word here is Hukou. Hukou is a kind of residential registration uh, system which was introduced in China 50 years ago. However, as China develops, uh, this system has become a paradox that both facilitates and impedes the social development. On one side, the government tries to eliminate the huge inequalities that uh, is brought by Hukou. On the other side, uh, many uh, implementations of many social policies still really on the system. Uh, indeed, one of the main rationales behind the uh, second redevelopment is uh, so social inclusion, which is interpreted by the government as turning villagers into urban people with access to social welfares that are enjoyed by urban citizens. And <laughs> but my interviews shows that uh, the, the villagers' expectations are um, quite different and much more than uh, a hukou urban status. So uh, you probably can't see this. Uh, time reviews choose. However, uh, a village is a case that was redeveloped 10 years ago, but a close study still reveals many crucial problems that existed during the process and sounds the alarm on the current overwhelming phenomena of urban redevelopment in China. The Chinese slogan written on the wall on the sunset actually says, fight a battle for beauty, uh, urban beautifying. However, if the problems are not dealt with properly and seriously, what would be the future for urban China? So that is a snapshot of one of my research Cases. So if anyone's interested in more in details, I'm happy to talk about them after the session. Thank you.